which it does at the very starting, it kind of looks like there's wings fluttering, but later on, once the FLIR tech locks in on just that and follows it, it's a sphere. What are we looking at? What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. Incredible new feats in science. They don't want to just like not use them. The, the other problem here, though, is the, is the medium with which these arguments are being put out. They're usually put out behind a keyboard. At best, they're put out, they're put out behind a spaces, right? And it's just so unnatural. I mean, this has been, this point has been beat on over and over again on different podcasts. But, you know, when you're talking about answering or trying to answer very hard questions, and especially ones where teams form, on the ends of the spectrum, when you put them into keyboard algorithms where they're free to attack each other from the comfort of their own home, it makes things explode and the, more. And they're an anon. Yeah. yeah like I go by yeah. Darcy Weir on right. social media. Right. That's a big dumb, dumb move. I mean, it's, it's the, re <laughs> I, I agree with you. That's the reason why I would say that, you know, um, as, as much as I you know, I believe there's other people that don't, you know, and, yeah. and that's cool. But if you're going to if you're going to be a debunker, then understand how to do it properly, where you don't stoke sure. the fires of bullshit. You know, sure. because you know how it is. I mean, you know how Twitter, uh, UFO Twitter is, and or individuals oh. on social media. Period. I learned. You know what? I, yeah, exactly. So did I. Yeah. Um, but if you do it in a way that's going to create that mess, this this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? So this has to be some kind of. It's a perfect segue for his UAP videos. If you want to play those. Yeah, yeah. Actually, let's let's pull that up real quick, and then I want to get <clears throat> to what Richard Dolan was talking about with the motion of the USOs. Okay. But that I gave you that YouTube video, right, Alessi? It's NY UAP oh, discussion, crash. and it should be. So. There just he tell is. Us, go to videos. Yeah, so there's the which one you want. The Rubber Duck 2 is good. I think you could even start with the A10 Warthog, the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, that one's that. a good one. Cuz Mick said that this was just a balloon or a, he said it was a, a, bird. a bird. Which it does at the very starting it kind of looks like there's wings fluttering, but later on once the FLIR tech locks in on just that and follows it, it's a sphere. What are we looking at here like where is this purported to be? All these videos actually happen relative same by the location by the border. Okay. Yeah. So. So they were originally looking at the A10. That's when the object came in. And kind of followed it. Yeah. Oh, we're looking at the dot object. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Because the other one's a plane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that looks like a plane. You could just play Interesting. it. Interesting. Okay. And then what's the, can we play the balloon one if you go out of here? For cycle essay, the one rubber duck. I I don't want to say rubber. that one right there. Yeah. I think yeah. This is part yeah. two. Sorry, part one. Does yeah, do yeah do part. Well, one. part one doesn't have it for right, about like twenty minutes. Two. So part two, you're gonna be right into that's it. That's it. Okay. So this was the one that's trippy looking. <laughs> it's like a yeah. <laughs> it looks like a rubber duck. Yeah, yeah it looks like Ch what's the South Park game? Chase the Magic Dragon. <laughs> oh my god. So th we're looking. This is actually over Mexico, right? This is technically over Mexico territory. Technically, yes. And this is this an is unidentified the, this object floating at a very high rate of speed. Yo, yeah, move you, closer to the mic, bro. You might be... Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah no, okay. this is the one that I sent to the SCU when I first got it. I didn't release this until I got the okay from them after their whole analysis and can was you done. The, the SCU, are they, are they associated with the government? I believe they were um, like... In, like working with them at one point? I think After they, they had a route to send cases to the government or something like that. Okay. But they are technically just a group of scientists that want to do right by this subject and properly represent um, credible UAP videos. Okay. Right? Yeah. And what was this purported to be filmed from? A satellite? No, this is from a recon plane that they were a using. A recon plane was yeah. following this. At the beginning, actually, you see they just overlook in the landscape when it actually comes into view. Yes. It just shoots right in, and then they just filmed it for a good 40 minutes. The only reason why they didn't continue is because um, their time using the planes, because they kind of, like, rent them out from CIA, I believe. 
Okay. And um, they uh, they couldn't stay up there anymore and decided to leave. But and you got a lot of blowback when this came out. <sighs> you kidding me? Hell yeah! Right. Now, obviously, Mick West was debunking it. That one's par for the course. Every but you name it, everybody what, was what, trying who to debunk. Else, who else? Greenwald. Was coming on? Greenwald. Greenwald was? UAPX. Um, what was Greenwald saying? It was. He was just calling me out that I was a grifter trying to make money, and then you know. Um, but your videos weren't monetized, right? <laughs> none of this was right. So that's why they didn't make any sense. But it's it was more like they got to me the the the, the feeling I got was that they got upset that they didn't get it. Or they didn't have it. Because if this video landed on their lap, it would have been all over the place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So but the funny thing is, if you look at the history of it, right, that video, La Bruja, and um, the A-10 Warthog video, they eventually were confirmed by CBP and DHS as authentic UAPs in August of last year. So you can actually look up uh, what's the website? It would be. Um, I'm not, I don't. I know it's CBP, but I'm not exact. Website. You could just put like CBP UAP documents 2023. Yeah, it might come up like that. Yeah, and then a uh, separate word. Okay. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that they released it uh, somewhat redacted, blurred uh, out. Right yeah, records pertaining to see that PDF. Yeah. So like this. That's the. Uh, that, I don't think Pentagon's that's... UAP task force. In June know. 2020, the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence unveiled the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force (UAPTF) at the Office of Naval Intelligence, a successor to the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, which is ATIP. This paper dives down the rabbit hole with Defense Department insiders, scientists, to declassify material to find answers to a host of questions. Are mystery craft near peer adversary? platforms or exotic u.s platforms what is the technology behind them what kind of threat do they pose what are the geo strat strategic implications and what are we not being told interesting okay so this is like a long paper. It, yeah it's kind of like an introduction to what you know the history of this subject is like um yeah. yeah it's a lot but but they released like images it, um there's a link with the actual videos it's it, it exists okay yeah, yeah. Um, so it got confirmed by CBP, DHS themselves that we don't know what these were because they're used to chasing narcos craft, right. um, illegal immigrants that are doing stuff across the border, trying to get people in and stuff. Right. So they're used to seeing certain things. And those three videos were anomalous to them. They're like, what the heck is this? Yeah, that one with the dot following the plane is pretty wild. You can watch that a bit more. There's more of it where they're just tracking the dot later on, and so it just looks like a big sphere, right, so which is kind of like Mosul yeah, orb. Yep. So what people, what people don't understand, too, with FLIR is you, it, you get very, very good detail when you capture objects that you're looking at through the, right. through the, you know, through the camera, through the lens. And a bird would have been absolutely identifiable. You would see every detail of the bird, the wings, the tail, the all that. So the fact that none of that is visible and as well, why would, you know, Border Patrol agents be fascinated by a bird? Right. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't take interest in the first <clears throat> place, right? Mm. Um, and this thing was flying in a area where American assets are flying. It's like, secured area sure. there shouldn't be anything like that right so it's anomalous for sure i think um you know the blowback that he received is just the way that our, our community is people want to debunk and attack the person most of the time john green greenwald actually released uh earlier was it earlier this year or late last year he basically said oh yeah they are anomalous and I got those videos from a different source, didn't credit him. Like, mm. and I kind of, I mentioned that to him. I messaged him and said, hey, dude, well, I actually did a post on Twitter and then all of his trolls started attacking me and I like mm. blocked them one by one. See ya, see ya, <laughs> see ya. But like, it's kind of like a honeypot. You should try it sometime. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, you know, it's just too bad that he didn't represent, like he initially was, very against those videos, debunking, attacking him and the videos, and then 
they get confirmed and he changes his tune completely and is like, oh yeah, these are anomalous. Mm -hmm. And the person who originally released them was like Dr. Disclosure or something like that. And it's like, Mm -hmm. dude, why are you misrepresenting the story? Interesting. Yeah, I missed all this. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.